But when I first arrived about four and a half months ago, I heard about the cost conscious culture that we have here in AATC, and it kind of went in with uh, my background and my experience for some of the events that I held, uh, being in doing AFSO 21 events. So when I got to see some of the big projects, I saw you know lots of savings that our airmen were doing by being able to do the projects on their own that were identified by leadership. But what was more impressive is what our airmen were doing at the lowest level, our innovative airmen that we work with day in and day out. Well, we were uh, running into an issue at our shop. Uh, we have pre-positioned masks on all the 135 and C-17 aircrafts. However, the C-17s, they use a different type of strap, and it's a plastic one. It's very temperamental, and during the winter, and even if you look at it, or pull down on it wrong, it will, uh, it will break, and that causes issues with maintenance because the maintenance personnel, they have to go out and replace them every time. So if they don't have the funding to buy the new straps or they can't get out there and replace them, we don't have anywhere to pre-position our quick don masks. So with that problem, we were trying to find a solution. So after some digging around and technical orders and collaboration with the maintenance personnel, we found out that we could change out the plastic straps for nylon straps that are locally manufactured. Uh, one strap usually takes about three to five minutes. Uh, so you can get a whole aircraft done in 15 minutes. In my opinion, they work better. And most of the, the people that I work with, they think the same thing. Another thing with those is the plastic straps, when they break, you keep having to replace them. These nylon straps, they have you know, unlimited shelf life, so you don't have to replace them unless they're literally cut in half. I would tell airmen is that the only bad idea is an idea that they don't share. Well, we've had this idea in the back of our mind for a few years, and then uh, finally one day it was decided that we were going to go ahead and try and push with this and bring it to fruition. And we just decided it in one of our uh, weekly meetings that we have, and our commander okayed it. We pushed through with it and got it approved, and we started to build it. The biggest way that we save money is obviously in fuel costs, because before we had this range, we would have to bus all of our airmen to either Shepherd Air Force Base or to Fort Sill, or in extreme cases, we'd have to go to uh, other bases farther out. Um, and what that adds up to is about $1,700 annually in fuel cost. And of course, that number raises every day with the cost of gas prices. And then on top of all that, with the logistics involved of having two to three day courses going elsewhere, that also saves on man hours. So we save anywhere from about 720 to 750 man hours annually just by having the range here because we're able to cut the time frame of the class down to about two to three hours versus a two to three day class involved with travel and whatnot. What I like to do is thank, you know, innovative airmen like we have here at Altus Air Force Base, like Staff Sergeant Treadwell and Staff Sergeant Appleton for them bringing some of the ideas that they had in their head and they wanted to share that with their leadership. And they're actually making a difference. 